All right, it is six o'clock, you guys, and it is Saturday, September the 7th, 2019. It feels like fall for real. Anyway, this is 104.5 WRFU. I'm going to read my disclaimer and get right into it. So, WRFU is an open forum for Urbana Champagne in our online community. Views expressed are those of the speakers and are not intended to represent WRFU, UC, IMC, or Urbana Socialist Forum. Yes. So, we in the studio. We got Kiki in the studio. We got Damon. You don't have to like me. We got Damon in the studio as well. And myself, Heather Javon. I am streaming from the Conscious Community Connections page. Um, I did uh, not inform everybody, but next month, we will only be doing, from going forward, only doing three out of the four uh -huh. Saturdays in a month. Or yeah. if it's only three Saturdays, that'll be two. It's only one. No. no, you get what I'm saying. So we're only doing at least a minimum of one off Saturday per month due to the fact I have some things going on. All the shots, you know. Yeah, she's the ball. She shot Carla. Shot Carla. Oh, no. Twenty inch blade. What you got on, Carla? Thank you. Oh. I'm doing some upgrade on myself. You know what I'm saying? She's like Nubian. Yeah. Nubian yes. sister. I'm, I'm working on myself. What's that, that one queen I was I was reading about? The ten, ten, ten black queens remind me of you. I forgot uh -huh. her name. I was reading about them queens. It's a lot of black queens. Yes. That was powerful. Yes. Yeah, a lot of people don't know about. It. Yes. Yeah, so well, I, I was reading it so much I forgot all I forgot her name. <laughs> it's all right. I couldn't pronounce it anyway. <coughs> oh. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. So not just Cleopatra. You yeah, feel me? See, that's just stuck that on one Cleo, one yeah, you right. know. Yep, yep, yep. I haven't gotten I, that far yet. Yeah. But I've heard about the numerous women that. They, they, ran, they ran dynasties. They ran dynasties. Yeah, they had they dynasties. They, they, yeah, they, they ran the dynasties. They, they did a lot. They ran the some of the great dynasties yeah. in Africa. Yeah. The good book to read to tell you about that. Then they uh, traveled and conquered too. Yeah, the good oh, book yeah. is oh, yeah. destruction. Both the Romans of, when they first came. The destruction of black civilization. Tell you about all of them. Yeah. yeah, I haven't got to listen to all of them. Somehow they have the audio. Got, somehow we got destroyed. No, Who? They think they destroyed. I'm talking about like far as they changed everything and mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. stuff like that we were i'm glad you you bringing this up because our topic today is respect so it ties into tcp <laughs> it, it does tie into that mm -hmm. where there was probably some some lack going on mm -hmm. and a lot of people were being despiteful yeah. about how and why women should do this or why this particular person, you know, wow. is ruling and why we can't. You talking about women in general? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I do think it's going to be a woman president. Push yeah. it. Push it. Why don't I like that? See, we thought we weren't going to see no uh, black president. If, they, like if they do, right. we, women, okay, women are nurturers. So we're going to look at things that have been overlooked. You feel me? And we're gonna take care of those things. Okay? That's for real. I ain't said nothing. I'm listening to y'all talk. I just think this is gonna be a woman president one day. I think it is too. What's her name gonna be? I don't know. Methuselah? Oh, oh no, Methuselah, wow. <laughs> it's a joke, brother. It's a joke. No, I I really think that women, you I don't know, think she gonna be black. Caucasian, Caucasian, huh? can be Caucasian. They probably that, that's that. A, I mean, we. I don't know. It might be. She don't have to be but, black as long as she's a, a decent female that will actually put the women. I mean, put the people first. That'll be the perfect thing. Taking care of the world. You know what I'm saying? Right. Taking care of. I mean, I can't everybody. Never, never say it's gonna be a black person, but it, you know they'll probably make it hard for. Them. You know. I mean, they they ain't doing all. 
I'm sorry to say it, but nah, they ain't ready for that. Now that's too much. Yeah, a black president or woman. And nah, pro- that's too much right now. Yeah. You vote for her? Is she right? I would. What we'll make her right? <laughs> I asked the question because he said she's right. Yeah, the people, helping people, helping the people, help, helping everybody. Not doing just for the rich and, and you know what I'm saying? Just got to be genuine to help people. Be there, be, one of, be there for people in the community, in the city, change things, make better schools, everything, you know? Just can't be about, you know, certain issues, you know? I don't know, that's, that's a hard I'm optimistic, but a black woman president in, in my lifetime, nah. I mean, it could happen because I asked my grandmother, I said, Grandma, you ever thought you'd see a black president? And she said, no. She said, I never in my mind, in my imagine, my mind to think there'll be a black president. Nah, it's you know, too much hate going on right now. And, uh, she, I mean, it was hate going on then. When Obama nah, became I'm saying, president. it's just. It's just like that because of Trump in the office. Nah, it's just. It can happen. It can happen. Yeah, you know, it's just, it just. Just racism just really exploding right now because they feel they can just say. Maybe I wouldn't even want. say in my lifetime. Who wouldn't even say that? Let me take that. Back. you young, so what you mean in your lifetime? It could be another thirty years. How old you be? It could about, be. Yeah, it could know. be in my lifetime. Yeah. But you not not anytime soon. No, I'm anytime. sorry. No. How was your but, How was your event today? Yes, I did have an event. Um, my event was pretty cool. I had some ladies come out and support me. Um, that was good. Um, I wasn't expecting like a big old crowd. Still ain't invite no men. That's why. I did, and I said it. I did. How did you do it? Facebook. Yeah, I'm right. supposed to. I'm asking. Did you invite men? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> you and this lady, lady all the time. <laughs> sister Power. Yeah, Sister Power. Power to the sister. Look, you got a movie going on. You gotta be careful. I'm just. The takeover is in effect. Oh my goodness, little, look, hush, whatever. So my event was cool. Um, What I'm doing is I'm taking away a Saturday from from WRFU 104.5 and I am going to replace that Saturday with an event. And it's gonna be every first Saturday at Douglas Branch Library. Heather will be there. Heather Javon, and I will be doing a lot more things in the future. I can't tell everybody what it, what's going to happen, but today we did go over mindfulness and we did self affirmations. What y'all talk about self affirmation? Self affirmations are just confirmations of statements that you can say and repeat to yourself over and over again in order to build the confidence. So I am more than enough. I am great. I am loved. I will be the best motivational speaker. You know, that type of thing. So those self affirmations, um, mm-hmm. we did those. So mm-hmm. yeah, we had a couple of activities and the mindfulness really hit hit off, you know. So I think pushing those things will, will really help people and interest people. But it's like getting people out you know, yeah. especially on a Saturday, so. people, a lot of people work, want to relax. Mm-hmm. They get it though. So what time? What it time? was from eleven to twelve thirty. So that so you gonna plan on doing this every Saturday? Every every, every first, first Saturday. Month? Okay, that's okay. Every first Saturday, so it's not limited to just women. Okay. I'm not just gonna keep saying it's for women. But yeah. that is my target group. Yeah. But I know most likely. Are you targeting older women or just, just women, all women, period? Ladies, okay. females, you know, but men can come too because the stuff that we are or we're talking about can help everybody. So it's gender neutral, everything that I'm talking about. You're on bachelor's, is it? No, I didn't. I didn't say nothing. Nope. It's just more self love. That's all it is. And a lot more men need self love. They really do. Well, we all need self love. Yes, we do. You mean why? Why you say that? Self love. Mm-hmm. Why? Why do we need? Why self-love? you say most men? A lot of men need self love. Because some of them aren't healed. 
They have their insecurities. They do. Insecurity for what? Just different things like different things, life, and not healing from the stuff that they didn't dealt with. <coughs> yeah, men are men, men are insecure. And mm -hmm. then men are some insecure, of the men, sure, some of sure. the men like mask that. They block it. You know, they they are you guys are emotional, but you guys were taught to be a man. Don't don't show all of that, or don't be all like that with that girl. You know, just different stuff. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like they have boundaries. So you got, some, boundaries, you got boundaries, David. Everybody got boundaries. But I, I asked you. Yeah. I mean, ain't talking about everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we, of we, course, we, I got boundaries. I'm a man. What you think? What are, yeah. you, what are your boundaries, brother? As far as what? Dealing with a relationship wise. If if I feel that it's unhealthy, you know, I'm saying I'm gone. Okay. You know. If it's, we live in two different type of lives, you know, it, it ain't for me. And I ain't for her, you know what I'm saying? So ain't no sense of playing. Would you feel secure if your ladies make more money in you? Of course. I mean, for, you know, that's that's, that's crazy for not to, you know, if, if she love you and you love her, you know what I'm saying? What, what not to do with, you know, it don't make no difference. What if she just wants you around, you know, and she don't want nothing else but, like, your time? Give me no money or nothing. Yeah. I mean, that'd be great. <laughs> no, I'll be in a new car. No. <laughs> that's the intimate part. No. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the intimate part. Yeah, that's part, sweet, but, but you some know. Some people don't want that. They what? Want, they want other stuff. What they want what? I don't know. They want other stuff. Like they don't what? want the intimate part. They want the sex. They want the drama. You know? Nah, nobody want. I mean, I'm too old for drama. Okay. Yeah, you know, so I don't. Right. Know. Is it the the maturity part? Yeah. And I'm you into probably. Yeah, okay. You know, okay. You know, so yeah. if you was thirty, then you'll be like, time. I'll be I'll be wilding, you know what I'm saying? I'll be in and out, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like a bank robber? Man. Like a bank robber. I'll be like hey. Santa Claus, man, you know what I'm saying? So Not forget even time whisper. if you ain't what? If oh, you ain't no, giving no, it up, no. what? Gone? Gone. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nothing talking about. Ain't nothing talking about my idea, Forget time, huh? Man, I'm gone. That's how I lost a lot of good women, not giving them time. Dang, you see? You know what I'm saying? All you they lost a good man, because you a good dude. They, they I mean, I, time. You but know after a while, about? you know what I'm saying? I had to. <laughs> What you know turned into somebody that you know changed. <laughs> what time is that though? What? What time is that? What time do men change? They change different stages of their life. It just it depends on who that man is. Yeah. You got some men out there, 55, 60, still out there, you know what I'm saying, acting like they 25, 30 years old. You'll never see that from me. I'm 47, you know, I'm she ain't gonna see that from me. You got some men that mature early. Mm -hmm. You know, then you just got some just ain't gonna never mature. No, well. you know, and I just, I would want to be that type of brother. You know what I'm saying? Because I I seen how it is. You know, they mm -hmm. still out here playing yeah, games. Playing games. You yeah, know? I can play with them. Yeah. Yeah. You know? What else? <laughs> well, I keep my comments to myself. Say it. Say it. Yeah, you better. better. Shut your dang old mouth. I'm just saying. What else? <laughs> gonna get on so we was talking about respect, though. Okay? Yeah, what is respect? Respect. What respect. is the definition of respect, man? I mean, you gotta re respect. Respect's come all different levels, you know. Mm -hmm. it's just, you just gotta respect people, you know. Respect mm -hmm. people wish you, respect, you know, who they are, you know, just. You know, you got to, as far as relationship, you know, when you deal with a relationship, especially with a woman or anybody, you know, you're going to want to respect them. You know, you don't want to come in the game being disrespectful, be, you know, be, you know, just being mean to them. But some women like that. Some do. Some like eat cake at a man. Some of them like, yeah. Eat cake at a man. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do like to be treated like a. Like a what? They like a, a Ike Harley. Turner. Mm -hmm. Like a what? A, a harlot. Yeah. <laughs> And they gotta grow out of that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Very much. Remember what they say? He hit me, he loved me. Oh man, people still are you know out what I'm here saying? like that. You got that. some women like that. People are you know? still and out I, here like that. And I see some of them and I'm like, and I was 
or be aggressive and dog women out and they just love me, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just, I ain't no good when I was younger. You know, now I see my son doing the same thing. This girl gonna come to me crying to me. I'm looking at her like. But where does I, that come from? Is this automatic or is it learned behavior? Or what is that? What is that? Man, it's like this, It's a man. man. You know, just being you know, natural. You know, it's, a, it's a human nature, man. It's called self-respect. If a person respects you, how can you respect them? If what? If a person that respecting themselves, how can you respect them? For sure. For sure. There's some boundaries and lines. But yeah. then some people just like people and praying that they change. But that's true too. But it's still, it's still, it's still, it's still is a line there, because you 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 can go, you can go into a relationship, and like you said, how you got them, they know you was a dog, right? Yeah. So then they ain't have no self worth, no respect for themselves. They know you was a dog. They just settle for anything. So they gonna allow you to do anything because a self respect for woman ain't gonna go for no dog. Now that's in the beginning. In that the beginning, could be, you got a facade up. Wait, hold up. Man, talk to wait, me wait, in that beginning, that part you're talking about, they sit there. In the beginning. So, if, some if, of them take it, excuse my language, for the sex. Yeah, exactly. You know that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know that. You know, you get a, you know somebody, I know that. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For experience, you get somebody, you know what I'm saying? If you, you know, woo, woo, you know, you can do certain things to them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> They'll take the mistreating longer than but, a man right, that ain't right, right, satisfying a the, woman, right? It still, which, that's it, it still goes to the main subject. She don't respect herself because she respect herself. She not going to just have you for the sexual part and this and that. She going to have you for the whole the whole. 360 to build her up, to continue to build her up and to build you up. So evidently she got some brokenness in her to either accept you to accept the things you're doing. It depends on how old she is and where she is in her life. Uh, is, she, is she mature? It, it, yeah. Cause, cause you, I met some, I met, and I was young, I met a lot of mature women, 20s and this and that. Yeah. It just now, now, now it's just so far, so far gone. Cause a lot of people, they're not, you ain't got the queen like Tifa's and the MC like teaching, uh, no good, good. Lady rappers out there teaching self respect. You know what I mean? That what that one sister name like, I can't think of her name, sister. She always We just don't never see the strong sister. Yeah, they're we not they the, they not see the ones that's out they there. They not there like nothing. You, you got to yeah. giving yeah. themselves away yeah, yeah. and doing all that crazy. All these stuff. all these and the strong um, ones we reality, don't see. You reality know what shows. They, 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 they don't show the strong ones. They ain't showing the class. Yeah, they ain't showing mean? all that no more, man. They ain't showing So the boundaries need to be set in the beginning? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, of course. Like you would tell your man if he if y'all living together, he gone for two nights in a row. You gonna accept that? No. You know what I'm saying? No. Y'all live together. No, no. You leave Monday. No. And then he come back Wednesday night. <laughs> trying to take a bath, eat and go to sleep. Act like he ain't been nowhere. You know what you did with that? No. <laughs> uh, no, you know, I'm not. And some playing. of them just be happy. You know what I'm saying? Home, he came I mean, home. You know what I'm saying? Right, soon right. Eat and rest and go right. to sleep. You know what I'm saying? He know where home, man. He know where yeah, yeah. home, man. That's yeah, when I knew yeah. life was crazy because a woman told me that. She me said, too. Well, you going to keep doing what you're doing, you but you always home. end up in my bed. And I was listening. I was like, why would she say that? You know? Because I said she, work one she was starting to feel, you know, our relationship was starting to get numb for her to say that. I was like, wow. And that, and that always touched me when she said that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just like sleep and she just said it. While we were asleep, you know, and, and, and after that moment, I think things kind of changed. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, you do got to set boundaries in a relationship, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and sure. then you got to realize what type of person you're dealing with. If you're dealing with a person that you just know mm -hmm. ain't gonna sit down somewhere, you finna put yourself through that yourself. Right, so right. If you don't catch yourself and walk away from it, or leave, you continue to hurt yourself. And then if you mm -hmm. got kids and family with the man and stuff, and that you continue help hurting yourself. I know you gotta believe in people. Sometimes you gotta step back and let go. You know, I have to go back. And How go. do you let go though? I mean, like some people, like time, you said, time. They, they just accept. Yeah. Hey, he, we, we doing the whatever. You know what I'm saying? He gonna come home every once in a while, and he'll dip back out, and then come back. At least he here, and they just accept it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know either. You got a lot of women. I ain't, lot, I ain't going. A lot of I'm women. I know going. a lot of women ain't going. I ain't going. You know, nah, I ain't going. Then got you got time some, for all that. but then you might got some. Be glad you be gone. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> God, I holler at you. <laughs> you know, I you know what I'm saying? So she can do hers. You know what I'm saying? She gonna be if you come home and she ain't never mad. You be like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know something going on. Yeah. 
She ain't never mad. She she making you a, a to go a bag. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? She's like, yeah, I'll iron your clothes. You come on, like, yeah, he's going down. I got your outfit, All right. right. I, you going out for the yeah. weekend again? Yeah. I got your, I, hey, look, look at the outfit, window. Man. Now, your homies outside. You be like, I ain't going nowhere. And my man's going right through the back door. I say, so you think he comes shower? My man, you come right from the back door. Come shower, man. And then watching movies, chilling out. <laughs> she cooking dinner. He got, your, he got your house coat on. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, house shoes and stuff. Yeah, up. man. <laughs> oh, my God. This is too funny. Come on, he laid up like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, what you doing back so early? You so busy. <laughs> <laughs> like Eddie Murphy said, don't think your little sweet oomsy poomsy won't sooner or later get somebody else some, because she will. It don't take that long. It hey, don't. Hey, she it come don't. back talking about, so I you, shot the sheriff. <coughs> so Heather, how do you develop a respectful relationship? It should be established in the beginning, but if it's not, it's okay to change your standards at any time. Mm -hmm. For real. Change Some your standards think though. Some people think like, okay, this person coming in and out of my life, he's it's okay for him to do this. At least he here. Then mm -hmm. you like, oh man, I don't want him to do that no more. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you start setting certain standards in place, and you like, well, I'm not accepting you coming in late no more, or I'm not accepting you not calling me no more. At a, whatever it may be, you can set those standards. And you can switch or change your mind or your opinion, whatever it is, your feelings, all of that. It's okay. You know, but you got to stand on that. You know what I'm saying? You can't say, oh, I'm going to set this standard. And then the next time he do it, you like, okay, we back to the normal. And I'm going to keep letting them come in or keep letting them back in. You know, you can't keep doing that. You need to stick to it and say, hey, I respect myself. I love myself. I won't let you do this to me anymore and stand up. So would you date somebody that you know and that's a player like <laughs> or you know, you, you know, you might be real attracted to him, but you know it, man, he ain't no good. But he look good. What would you do? <laughs> I can play the game too. It uh, don't you, matter. Yeah, just, you know unless you just in it for fun. I mean, I can with I play my cards, man. Mm. I mean, I'm I am who I am. But see, then a man can't deal with a woman going out every weekend. Yeah, nah. <laughs> that brother be like, I ain't going. I <laughs> mean, it all depends. It all depends. Um, like, like right now, you know, I'm just being me. But going out every weekend like how though? Like, what you mean? I'm just saying, like, you say you finna go, say you get ready to go out and this, you know, she dressing. Every time you dress and she dress. Okay, well, she going with you or she going with somebody else? She going with her. She gone every weekend. But you going every weekend too, right? I mean, yeah, almost. Okay, you got to accept it. What good for the goose, good, good for the guinea. And but but he don't like that. Who don't like that? No, nah, most men don't. Right. You know, they don't like no woman to go out every weekend. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. If you go out every weekend, why, why your woman can't go out every weekend? If you ain't doing nothing. But he is. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. That's that guilty conscience. <laughs> nah, ain't no guilty conscience. Nah. But he I'm is. I'm just saying. That's though, facts, man. man. Listen, man. Listen. Ain't nobody want to see listen. a woman out of here. Well, why you go like weekend then? Stay home with your woman then. I'm just saying, no, though. No, see, no. now you, you, you turning on me. No, I right, right, you know right. I'm keeping it real. Yeah. I agree with you. Don't know, man. Now, if a man, if a man ain't going out of here weekend, he going to stay home with his woman. Yeah. So if you go out of here weekend, you want your woman to stay in the house with you? I ain't say that. I'm just saying. What you saying then? I don't know what you saying. I'm just saying no man really like no woman to go out every weekend. But is you going out every weekend? Sometimes. I ain't going sometimes. Yes or no. No. Nah, why you? Yeah. No, I ain't. I'm just saying. No. I sometimes I, I don't go out. I, I never. Yes, I did. I went out every weekend. <laughs> Exactly. Like, I don't want to watch like he lying. Yeah, chicken. Remember, remember happened last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't get that phone call. You're right. So yeah. you was going out every weekend, but you'd rather your woman stay, stay in the on, house. Wait on nah, you. I ain't never say that. No. Yeah, but you're saying but though. I'm, I'm saying. Just, I don't want a woman out every weekend. But you, if you go out every weekend, they stay home with Why me. Why not though? Yeah, I stay. I mean, so, I, I did go out, stay home with my woman. If I did have one, I sit in the house, watch TV, and all that type of stuff. You know, well, I'm they're taking with you. Go out every if you ain't doing nothing, they're taking with you. Somebody. 
why still go out every weekend if you got somebody? If you ain't doing nothing, just take it with you. I mean, it's it's time where you go out with you. I'm just saying. Don't know about all the, I don't want. No, I, I agree with you though. Don't know, don't know, man. It's just like it's it's always a double standard when it comes to men and women. Yeah, you right. You right. I mean, it, it's like that. It's always a double standard. We 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 we, we are so selfish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and but, then I, but then but, I like to go out with my woman too. You know what I'm saying? I do yeah, like to go out but, with her. You know, but men see, just go out. I think men sometimes go out more. But then it might be like, you know what I mean? What you want to go out every weekend for? You know what I'm saying? Men get mad and stuff like that. Because we know, we know what we doing. We know what we doing every right weekend. Right. You know, we know we are choosing. <laughs> and then you know your woman. You know your woman. Your woman ain't ugly to you, so you know she ain't ugly to the next man. You know somebody gonna choose her. You think and then you don't know, know she gonna give in temptation or not. Right. Yeah. That's true. So that's what it is, because you know you giving in to temptation. We give. I'm, I ain't gonna say you us. Yeah. Us as some men. I ain't gonna say all men, cause all men ain't dogs. All men don't cheat. All women. Men, men are just easier. Nah, men, women too. <sighs> See, I mean, wonder if you know. Wonder if it, the roles ch- changed. You feel me? Like you stayed at home and I just went out every weekend. You feel me? Like, shoot, right. I'm finna go kick it and party. You at the crib? That ain't going down. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, why? What? What the heck is that? Like, that ain't I'm just right. Like, mean that I'm finna right. kick it like you I mean, know I'm finna be like ah every weekend every weekend no, like sir. okay nah. talking no nah, that's reckless that's reckless yeah see that's not right though <laughs> that's wrong no, that's I still wrong. respect myself yeah I know that I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do but I like going out kicking it how you respecting yourself you go out kicking and shaking your butt everywhere yeah. I ain't got to shake my booty. You know what you doing out? I don't, I don't yeah. do all of that. You know what you doing out? Go out every weekend then. Your I man, your socialize. Man you who you socializing with? <laughs> I socialize. I, I, who you socializing with? You know? the nothing thing is how late you stand out. Yeah. yeah that's, <laughs> that's, the, that's the thing. Y'all go on, come on back. That's the key thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we coming into the party okay. over. We trying to go to the after set. Right. Yeah. Go, go eat. As soon as the party starts, where you at? Yeah. Man, get mad. He get the car. Where you at? See, man, that ain't right. I'm gonna start going out. You like, what you at, man? Yeah. Right. I think men ain't just, doing all like that. you say, men be scared that they won't gonna find something out. You know what they I'm saying? They already found where they going yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> you know. She just ain't going out. Especially like they, they got them friends. They tell me it all. Mm, girl, forget that dude. Yeah, he ain't no good. He ain't no guy. I seen him lose us, 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 us. Oh, <laughs> old, old boy, like you, monkey. Mm. Oh, my goodness. But respect goes a long way, though. Respect. Respect. Yes, respect. Yeah. I ain't, I'm, I'm right with y'all today. What? I'm respect. Right so, even with the, okay, so with the double standards, you know, Wonder, wonder if you, you know, you doing your thing, you, you know, you spin your game or whatever, you know, doing what you do. You got all these girls or whatever, you know, and the girls start treating you the same way. Treat me like what? Like, like you treat her. What? Just like with the double standard. Like what? you telling me that you going out every weekend. I start going out every weekend. But, but and, women do do that. I they mean, know, what? They, they been doing that. That's just if the brother gonna, you know, they been doing that. Not all women. Not all, but I got sisters. So <laughs> they, some of them, they rough. You know, they some going out every weekend on some gangster stuff. But we just, we, t- we talking about, you know, different type of women, you know. Yeah. We got all stand, I don't know. Yeah, you know, it's all everything. I just, yeah. I just don't wanna see no woman, my woman going out here, not every Saturday. Well, she go out with you every Saturday. I ain't going out every Saturday. I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not going out every Saturday. But what she want? What we met her? Going, what we met her? And she was going out every Saturday. See, yeah, see, that's the that's the key right there. We met her and she was going out every Saturday. What 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 what's what is what, what's the problem now? I don't think she. I don't, I don't think she'd be my main woman. But what we just made? What okay? What we say? What, okay, for a prime time, what we go out every Saturday, right? But don't don't, don't be making me look like okay, no villain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, okay, I'm going I'm put myself in to if I go out every Saturday, I see a woman every Saturday. Oh, she doing at the bar drinking with her girls, kicking it. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Okay. I'm just saying, man. You know what I'm saying, then? Uh-huh. You know, what, what's the problem? All she doing going out kicking with her girls. She never on the dance floor. You like two or three months, you just you just scoping. Like, man, I might be a good woman. 
Every, but you always see in the club drinking. I'm like, you know what I mean? But you get with her now. You know she a good woman. And she still keep her normal routine. What what you think? I mean. <laughs> you gonna flip? Who gonna flip? Yeah. Or men. Like, don't want to be like, nah, man. You got to cut that short. Same thing with a woman. She just trying to, she a male bastard. Yeah, she just, somebody told her that. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> somebody told me what? Slow down. Ain't no man never tell you quit going out so much. Or why you why you doing this? I don't why even you go out like that no more. So I'm a, I'm at home. You a homebody now? Yep, I don't even go out. Man. So even if I do, you know. Now what if now you gotta think about them when they young as dinner? What if they like 38, 40 still going out of there? Oh man, thing? you know what I'm saying? Dang. Now like that, right now. That right there. With your woman out every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all tell the truth, every Saturday, she gone. Probably the third Saturday, I might have been left. <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, we leave easy. Oh, my. I'm a Capricorn. Yeah, you know, mm -mm. I'm cool. I'm cool. You cool? Yeah, I'm cool now. Mm -mm. So you don't want no man going out every weekend either, do you? No, mm -mm. I'm at home, so you know. So you check your man phone if we go every weekend? Will I check his phone? No, I ain't checking nobody. Phone. Yeah, you know, I see women women do that. I, that, I think that's, that's I see men do that too. Huh? I know men that do that too. What's that about? No, I don't check nobody phones. That's privacy. I don't, I don't call me checking my phone and be like that's crazy. That's not that's not cool. Privacy. That's respect. Man. That's what I'm saying. That's respect. Respect. So you you know? respect. So if you live with your man and y'all together, he had like a uh, thing on his phone where you can't get in, would you be mad? No. Mm -mm. You know that's phone? respect. Okay. No, I I mean I I trust you enough that whoever you text in that you you tell them let them know like hey this <coughs> girl you know like if somebody in your DM mm. or whatever it is I got a girl already or something like that but I'm not gonna be searching for nothing that's too much that's that's wasted energy you know what I'm saying I mean nah. that's like looking through your phone and and you got Instagram and he liking, you know, certain people pictures or something out. Is that disrespect? Like is that disrespect if he like, like the pictures? I don't think so. I really don't. Well, I man, I don't know. I don't I don't think it's disrespectful. What? For him to like someone's picture. Is that disrespect for your, if, your, if your significant other likes somebody else's picture? You keep liking it and commenting on it? I mean, I don't. Now, comment I, I, I and don't, stuff. I don't, like, I don't, I don't, I don't. You didn't I don't, say all yeah. that. No, I'm saying. I'm, I don't I get into all that comments stuff. Comments like, stuff. No, I'm saying. Okay, okay. Would that would, be, would, would it be disrespect? Like, your girl looking at somebody else while y'all out? I mean, all women going to look and all men going to look at other people. You know what I'm saying? Well, how would you feel, that? though? I mean, she just dazed and staring at you. You know what I'm talking about? You gonna think you catch like you just catch with eye contact with somebody? Be like, damn, what they talk about, man? Man, that's just like man, you are somebody always gonna catch eye contact, man. Mm -hmm. oh, that's natural. But you got respect enough to, to, to know that she ain't gonna do nothing anyway, though. Yeah, yeah. That word respect is powerful. It's powerful, man. It is. So like, trust. a girl that like trust. goes out, you know, she talks, socializes, yeah. and she. Hugs people is that too much? Favorite kind of hugging she doing though? What's what a side hug or a, what? What what you mean? Oh, bro, What's I the difference? Call, I like call my mom show. What's the difference? It's it need to be a side hug or something? Yeah, it like depends on kind of hug it is. But it depends like, on is she yeah. the type of person that she mingle with like, a lot of people? Like, she like, deal with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Before you met her, like you know, she's yeah. involved call, in different type of programs, like stuff like you doing where you dealing with people. You know what I'm saying? That's just how some people just interact yeah, with each other. Speak, yeah. You know, and it's just some me people can deal with, some people can't. Me, I can deal with it. You know, it depends. It depends on you know. It, it shouldn't be nothing wrong with that. I don't think you know. Mm -hmm. Feel like when you go to like when I be going to different churches here, doing stuff, and people hug and talk to each other. You know. Well, I say that depends kind of hug it is. Now, if you, if you just sat there ring, we just got to one of the main squeeze hugs, and more than three seconds, something going on. Yeah. You know what I'm mean, saying? Well, it could like, be him grabbing her. You yeah, know, but what he grabbing her for? Yeah, you know, like. And then he feel comfortable. Listen, yeah. and I mean, it could be like. <laughs> they're going to be Like, it could be the that. woman that I used to mess with some years ago. If I see her, 
I might go up to a hug. She might come up to me, hug me. Might, I want hug you. We might man. hug each other for that little three but seconds. But be like, you, you know, would you like, hey. Would you have with you with a man? I ain't gonna, man. You know, I ain't so gonna. What we talking about? Like what, what we talking about? You know, but I might. So if, if, see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what would you say? I mean, you know, if it, if it was just you know how people be, is though. I do, but why just like you know what I'm saying. Not no like no sexual hug. Well, well, I know some that. people do because it on purpose. You might know, like right now, I got my friend right now, his name is Terry Wright. I love him to death. He did some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. I don't care him. because. I do. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, anyway, he back in the feds because of that. You know, he went with this girl. She she grew up in this town and she knew a lot of people. And everybody <laughs> she hugged and talked to, he got upset about. You know what I'm saying? Is that that insecurity? The insecurity. <coughs> and that wasn't respect. He wasn't respecting her. Every person that she talked, and she was a social like type person. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, he ended up, you know, getting into it with a jumping on her, ended up violating his parole. Yeah, yeah. Because of insecurity, and he ain't respecting her or See, ain't respecting their relationship. Mine's. <laughs> I know that was. Um, you know, men are territorial. Yeah. You know, and, um, I, I be having issues sometimes with people, you know what I'm saying? Like, having a problem with me hugging people, you know? But I socialize a lot. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ain't no man because Okay, you, just don't look. Hey, I mean, so, I ain't gonna want my woman hugging I'm just everybody saying, I ain't gonna I lie. hug people, but I know certain people I just, I'm not gonna hug. Yeah. I ain't gonna hug none of my exes. If I'm, if I'm with my woman, I ain't gonna hug her my ne exes. I'm just ain't gonna do it because that's like, it's just it's just respect. We'll but something. I speak to him like, how you doing? You know what I mean? But, but I ain't gonna see my ex. What if they don't know that that that's your ex? Well, I, I I'm not gonna do it though. That's that that's sneakiness right there. Dude. Oh. But what you if someone I mean? come up to you on some old, you know, uh, hug you like? Uh, you, you know gotta, what I'm saying? No, you gotta stop it. I'm and not, you don't even you know. But you, you gotta don't be, see it coming. You you see it coming because you, you gotta know. she gotta reach in. She gotta get close. You know, some people do stuff on purpose. Exactly. You know that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Women do too. Women, 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 women they do really too. Yeah. So you got you gotta catch it. You know, you will see somebody trying to get. Yeah. Man, me personally, I won't get that close with no woman. If I'm, if I'm a my woman and I see my ex, I ain't gonna get in the vicinity so she can try to hug me. I'm like, hey, how, how you doing? And keep it at that. Some of them, respect. Yeah, they're yeah that's where respect come in at. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I did insecurity, but because you be like, no, why y'all hugging? You know, you know what I'm saying? It's just no, just no, normal feeling, normal reaction. You need to do, 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 you know what I mean? Or do you get what? You know what I'm saying? So what? It's like, don't hug? Or Hell it's no. only like five hugs I can give out? What no, the heck? No, ain't no five hugs. It, it's, you got some men don't want that woman hug nobody. Mine can hug, she ain't gonna be hugging her ex in front of me. Yeah, I ain't, she ain't finna be walking around hugging, yeah. her, hugging everybody in the building. Okay, <laughs> who she is? Who they is? <laughs> Too friendly. She's hey, too mine friendly. now. She's yeah. Friendly yeah. yeah. <laughs> All that. I'm friendly. Yeah. That's too much, huh? That's too much. <laughs> I can't deal with it. I, so, I ain't no judge all the time. That's, that's, that's where the won't. respect come in at. See, you talk about respect. Won't. See, that you don't respect your man, then you do what you want. I, mean, I ain't got one. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? I'm saying, if you had one, though, we talk about if you had one. If you had a man, you had a man, you got to respect your man, nothing not to do nothing like that. But I remember my uncle told me, he said, one dude, he said, man, quit hugging my wife. My uncle was a, 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 a preacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uncle ready to fight. You know what I'm saying? Because he was like, man, he said, man, he said, he told me this exactly. Like he said, Every time we see you, man, you hugging my wife, man. Who hug my wife? Unc like put him to the side, like, like that. Unc, Unc got real gangster in like two minutes. That's his wife. Yeah, he said, quit hugging my wife. Then I'm gonna check her too. Look, man, look, that's the last time you hug her. Yeah. Man. I was tripping before my hand passed. He was like, I was like, oh. Well, yeah, you gotta say, read the disclaimer. Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. Um. This is WRFU 104.5. It is an open forum for Urbana Champagne and our online community. Views expressed are those of the speaker and are not intended to represent WRFU, UC, IMC, or Urbana Socialist Forum. I need to also read this public announcement. And it is for Habitat for Humanity on September the 12th. They will be having a barbecue. It's going to be some barbecue. 
Okay, let me just read the little disclaimer thing. So, are you tired of paying high electric bills? Illinois has a new program called Illinois Solar for All. If you live in a low-income household, you may be able to participate in this program and save on your electricity costs. Stop by Habitat for Humanity on September the 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. to learn about this exciting new program and enjoy a free barbecue dinner. Again, that's September the 12th at Habitat for Humanity, 119 East University Avenue, Champaign, 6 to 8 p.m. Whether you own or rent, Come learn how you might reduce your electricity costs with clean solar energy. That is brought to you by Habitat for Humanity. Thank you so much, guys. I'm gonna have to read that again. But back to it, Re respect. I was just telling people that I do what I want. Maybe I don't need no man, because I do what I want. I need my freedom, though. I don't need to be closed in. I'm an Aquarius, so. Yeah, I no, I do what I want, but I know I know what lines do not cross. You get what I'm saying? <coughs> it's about respect, I am a man. You just said you, the topic is you respect. And I have a lot of people that, you know, talk to me, but I don't fool with a lot of people for real. Yeah. Like you'll be like, Hey, who is that? Like, nobody. Wow. Be like, why did you hug that person? You know? Yeah, why did you hug me then? I want to know that. It's a side hug, though. Mm -hmm. But then women sometimes, women, they get mad. They see they man hugging everybody. I ain't worried about you know, it. See, I I'm a, are you I'm hugging a different everybody? type of female. I ain't going to hug it, though. I'm a different female, so I ain't worried about that crap. I ain't. No. I hug old people, <laughs> everybody. You ain't talking about hugging, man. <laughs> no hugging. You not a hugger. No, I don't think she was wrong. Mm-hmm. Well, it's all good. I mean, sometimes people need a hug. Yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. some people do, but For real. some people even take it too far where you you probably will give them a hug and then you like, nah, I can't never give them a hug again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Be, some you like, be like, ooh, I gotta go get me, go give me a hug from me. Yeah, you know? there was one person that kind of threw me off. <laughs> And yeah. I gave them a hug, and they like literally looked me up and down, and I was like, "Nah, you can't get yeah. a hug." No That's, your like, yeah. That's your fault. Yeah, That's your fault. Some of them can't hug. No, can't You're get like, no hug. Yeah, it's your fault. I wasn't even on nothing though. I wasn't even looking like nothing though. Yeah, but maybe to him you were looking good. No, man. That's one time you see when you see women, when you see them just for their natural like at a grocery store or something they just coming out that's when you can really see that beauty and sometimes they put all that makeup and all that stuff on sometimes you see her but i see no lady she she was so beautiful just like going to the store you know what i'm saying yeah and but just natural see, of her just, but see, you got to to that you, you gotta realize who you hugging and who you it's called about respecting yourself it's all right being friendly but you gotta realize who you hug because some people got some you don't know everybody intention you don't know anybody until you go out there touching on. They might be like, oh, yeah, she like me. Yeah, they kind of see she hugging me. Yeah, because I got a friend. No, anybody shit. smiling, he thinks yeah. she wants yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You got to play like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, bro, she just smiled. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. she like what you want me. Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. like, man. On street, yeah, on street. You know what I mean? See? You, got, you got people like that, man. So you yeah. got you got. But like, I smell all the time. And what? Are you serious? Yeah, you got some brothers just like I that. Smell. She grin, she yeah. yeah, she grin, she in. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. I smell at everybody, well, though. You be careful. No, you can smile, oh, but man. don't get the smile and the hugging, yeah. now. Yeah, no. Nah, smiling and hugging. Don't put that just... together. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't, a lot of got rude intention. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we follow you on. Be on your Facebook page stalking you. Oh, man. Liking all your pictures and compliments. <laughs> okay, we talking about respect. I just had to block somebody, oh my gosh, today. Because they was talking crazy. But there's things that I don't appreciate, you know, or will not go for. Yeah. You know, on social media, on the phone. There's different stuff like that, you know. So I, 
I don't go back and forth. I don't argue with people. I keep it simple. If it's positive, I'm going. If it's negative, I'm going to hang up on you. If you're trying to go back and forth with me on the text message, I'm not reading it. Paragraphs, all of that stuff, I'm not reading that stuff. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's a line that I have, <coughs> have put up or a barrier or boundary, whatever you want to call it. I don't even go for that negative stuff anymore calling me stupid, dumb, a B word, whatever it is, I'm done with you. Yeah, it, yeah. it only takes one time. They call respect. You know, right, respect yeah, you respect yeah. yourself. You got you you hold yourself at a respectable standard. If I wants to have women call each oh call each other bees and stuff like that, then be you know what I mean? That term I don't understand that. How you can just take take that term, make it an endearment. I don't know. I don't even yeah. hang around. I know I know dudes that call each other that you know what I'm saying? We, you know, playing. I'm like, man, that ain't never. That ain't me. You know what I'm saying? I don't play calling each other names and all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's one thing I don't do. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my homeboy might go, what's saying? up, lame or square or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but they be calling each other bees and this and that. And, you know, talk. It's just, it's ridiculous how some people act in the world. Some people just are, like they say, some people are mature, you know, for their age. Mm-hmm. Some people just, you know, ain't going to. So, how do you, how do you get, get to an age and respect yourself, though? Mm-hmm. Maturity and time. Um, or yes. Or things that happen in your life. It can be something that can happen in your life that can just change you around. You know, you can get. I think hurt, it's your mind. Sick, you, know. you know, it's your mind. It's your mental? Mm hmm. Why you say that? Because at some point in time, I accepted a lot and I settled a lot. Mm-hmm. And we ain't gonna point no finger at people, but you know, you can tell by you know, some people I've dealt with in the past, you know, and how they treated me and how I accepted it. You know what I'm saying? Just like he said, oh, hey, you here? And that's good enough. You feel me? That wasn't good enough. I never should have accepted that, but I accepted that. I accepted names. I accepted abuse. I accepted a lot of things, you know, and I thought it was okay. No one ever taught me you know, that it wasn't okay. So I had to build up, you know, like my voice. I had to build some barriers, you know, some morals, some principles, you know, and I had to find that out, you know, deep down inside and who I want, I mean, who I was. And then I tried to figure out what I wanted out of that person or what I wanted, period, out of a relationship. So that's where that so, respect so- so how did you end up accepting that type? Did, did you see that growing up in your household? Did, did you? Nope. Did you? So how did you adapt that situation in your lifestyle? We didn't grow up knowing people, women getting disrespected and stuff like that. A lot of a lot of people are out here just looking for love, yeah, and they accept good. any type of love. Yeah, that's it. Even though it's not love, I you said, get what I'm love. saying? That's no, lust. it's not love that's at lust. all. It's not even lust. It's just accepting everything that comes your way. Yeah. And I did it. And I don't have no problem in saying, yeah, I accepted pretty much everything that came my way. Because some people just want to be in a relationship. Or just want somebody to want them. Yeah, or it'd be unhealthy relationship. Mine started when I was younger. So I I had some issues. And it started when I was younger. So I was just searching for love and whatever it was I got, I accepted. But did you know what love was though? No. Do you know what love is? Did you know what love is at the time? What did you thought love what did you thought love was then? Being loyal, sticking by that person with whatever and however they treated me. And I stuck with I stuck with a lot of people and accepted every hit, every punch, every kick, every name calling, everything. Abuse, all of it. Awesome, you a batter? You been jumped on before? Plenty of times. Plenty of times. I got a lot of scars. Yeah, yeah. I just don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. So you never know what I went through, basically. You know, that's that's just me. But now that you know what love is, though, do you ever find yourself slipping back to that old person? Oh yeah, shoot. <laughs> Why? Yeah, so no. I do, but Why is it? I check myself. Was that a normal behavior for you? Mm-hmm. That was normal. Very normal. Yep. 
I mean, I don't know how to explain that, but I know a lot of people are out here, they're lost. So since they're lost, they want someone to find <coughs> them, or they want someone to deal with them, or they want someone to love them and try to fix them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I've always been the nurturer. Always. Ne no one ever took care of me. You feel me? I always took care of them. Yeah, this something that happens like that. So, mm -hmm. so when you see them coming now, if you date somebody, you uh, do you stay around or you just take off? No, nah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. You know, you give it time to. For what? Yeah. If you if you ain't on nothing, you ain't on nothing. You know, yeah. I'm 35, um, and mainly what I desire is. It, it doesn't line up with what they desire. Yeah. You feel me? And if that's the case, like you said, I'm out. What, what do I need to stick around for? You know? Why? So what type of man do you desire? <laughs> well, this ain't this this ain't the day for that. Nah. <laughs> I mean, but we talking about respect. You know, uh, you know, I'm just saying <laughs> she went into relationship. <laughs> I didn't know she was a bad yeah. woman. And I was, you know, sometimes yeah. when women go through stuff oh, like that, man, man, they make it hard for they. It's, make, it's hard being a bad woman. They make it hard for a brother to to try to step up and be with her because she she didn't been through so much. You know what I'm saying? So she, well, she was, yeah, well, and she built this wall up around herself, mm -hmm, and then mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. a brother trying to get in, and she get to push them away. If she's not healed, that, the stuff that she went through. If she's not healed. And that might be it ain't a, gonna work. And that might be a good brother that you know saying that she pushing away. For sure. But if she's not healed, then it's not gonna work. You feel me? Yeah. It's not gonna work. Right now, what I'm doing, I'm healing myself. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna work. But if that person, that guy, is not healed, it's not gonna work. We can't do that. <coughs> you know? So it's it's a lot of things that are real deep when it comes to, you know, relationships and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm I'm trying to figure out what type of man that'll fit me. Yeah. You feel me? And I'm just not accepting, uh, you know, any and everybody. And I'm learning some things right now about myself. You taking applications? <laughs> no, I ain't taking no applications. Um, it's waiting list right now. Wow. <laughs> Mama clown, the price, she got the price just went up. Wow, the value has just went up. They gotta pay rent, and everything, huh? <laughs> nice mortgage, she got mortgage. Oh, that mortgage, yeah. Man, they pay the rent. price just went up. Property taxes and stuff like that. They just went up, man. They just went home up. Home. And I'm learning certain things. Like I have my own. Yeah. So. If you ain't got your own. So you ain't gonna have a brother. What can we do? Well, well, you see some potential. You don't got his own. Yeah, what well, you see some potential in the Some of these guys, man, yeah. they don't respect, you know, what I got. They they intimidate. What about a brother that's that's trying? That's tr I didn't try to try. That ain't the try don't work. The next one might work. <laughs> wow, she laughed. Look, man. What about the what about the reformed thug? <laughs> What about him? The brother was he just called me the other day. <laughs> getting high and okay, changed okay. his life. Look, look, man. How did now. we get to this? Look, what about you're him? not talking about me. Uh, okay. This is the reason. Well, maybe I'm talking about me then. <laughs> <laughs> look, now. No, um, I mean, I can give people that, chances, that but is, at the same time. That is time, respect, you know what I'm saying? Respect your brother, the brother trying to change his life, trying to sure. do something positive. You know that's what I'm cool and that's but fine. But if he's sitting here that take and he's time. He taking time and he works somewhere, he's making $11 an hour. Some men are all about certain still, things, and too. And still though. catching a bus. But you know what I'm saying? He got goals what he's trying to do, but he's struggling for right now. See? You know what I'm saying? What about him? I'm a nurturer. You know what I'm saying? And he the brother, you know, he's strong. He's mm -hmm. been through some things. Mm -hmm. But he just not might not be at your level. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But 
So I gotta hold off on my stuff to no, help I ain't, you. I ain't on what I gotta that. do. I ain't saying that. You know, it's just that's just life. What if you know, you know, his life can change around within two years, a year or something. Well, and we not we not living together. I, I ain't say that. Oh man. well, I'm you gotta saying. give me a good scenario or something like to show that we I mean, got the right path. If, I mean, I don't believe in living, you know, nobody living with each other stay married. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to shock me, somebody, trying to marry somebody. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, though, you know, you ain't trying to marry somebody I ain't living with nobody because <laughs> if that, that's too much, it's too much. You know? No, no. You know, especially if you just met each other. Now, if y'all been together for years, on and off, it's different. But we don't know nobody. <laughs> you move in with somebody. You know, women, they love to tell you, get out. Get out. <laughs> That's their favorite thing, word. Yeah, my house. No, it's two things. Give me some money and get out. <laughs> no, I'm just hey. But uh, but a man gotta have some respect for himself. He's moving the house with Yeah, him. man. You gotta be real careful. You gonna move, move in when you gonna move find in. a house together. Yeah. But that's, you move yeah. in and then you still doing what you wanna do. No, like, I'm talking about the brother right. that's changing. Oh, and it's, it, he having you know, okay. he having setbacks. Yeah, you know he going. He through, trying, you know, he trying. He trying. He trying. You know, he trying. But he trying. Doors keep getting closed in you his know, face. Yeah, doors keep getting closed in his face. Everything going wrong right now. And he bring home like five hundred every two weeks, six hundred, struggling. <laughs> Who the heck is this person? Do y'all got somebody in particular? No. Yeah. The and then all of a sudden you make it. Huh? You bring 500 every two weeks. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes. You bring 500 every two weeks. I'm just saying, you know, when you oh, first shoot. get out. You bring it, that it, bankroll on it. Who? The owl over there. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, when you first, you know, brothers that's struggling, you got to do them temp jobs, but they trying to do the right thing and get on track. You know what uh -huh, I'm saying? Because, uh -huh. you know, I did it, you know? Right. I was right. working it. And, you know, I could have went other ways, but I would probably have been locked back up or something, you know? And. And I just kept going, you know. See, <coughs> around here we have a lot of people that aren't doers. Yeah. So, I mean, I can give people chances, but it's like, if we not intimate, then you can just X that. You find out. intimate. Being intimate is spending time with that person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can date that person, you know, court that person, get to know that person. That's the intimate part without all the sexual things that can possibly yeah. weed its way into yeah. a relationship and yeah. manipulate like say, you gotta, you gotta, different type of stuff. So y'all minds together, you know what I'm saying? You know, make love to each other's minds. The, you know? the mental, right? Yeah, you Mental, know? Yeah, that's stimulation, beautiful. intellectual yeah. conversations need to happen and go on during that intimacy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that that's patience. That's time. That That's getting to know that person you feel me you need to do that you need to do that yeah. period you can't you can't expect the relationship to go any further i mean sorry but men think you know certain things and they need the you know the sex and stuff but women want the intimacy you know and maybe when you get to a certain age men will want to have that but you know men do want to have that yeah, you know, when, I believe so. Yeah. Just when they get to a certain age. Right, when they get to a certain age. Yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's all in their age, right? Yeah. In yeah. their timing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most women are more mature than men, right? Yeah. yeah. No. But then when you got a young man that's want to be like that early Whatever. in life, they get hurt. When you was 32, you was ready to marry and settle? I was in prison at 32. But you wasn't ready to marry and settle. I, no. Exactly. I was in prison at 32. I don't know what I did by going straight at 32, so I can't say that. I don't so know. what age are you? What age do you think men mature to that level? Be Like they're actually ready to, ready to settle get married, and get married? To leave, leave about like 40. Dang, for real? Yeah. In their 40s. And like I man, said, I most men I know, I know, I like know, marry I down. down. I got some, I I got some friends that Not a lot. I, I got a lot of friends that married since in their early twenties, and yeah, it just depends on it just depends yeah, on you, you meet that that right person that y'all respect each other enough to settle down. When you meet that right, I don't matter how old you is, when you fall in love, love ain't got no age limit or this and that. If you meet that person you truly love, and stop saying love because some of that stuff ain't even about love. That's what? Like, about, I said, like, I said, about love. like I said, 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 if you meet that person that you love. It's not. 
So you mean somebody you love you ain't gonna settle down with them and marry them? Some of this, some of those factors is not all about love. What fact? I'm talking married. I'm talking about settling down. Yes, but most what of those marriage, that? if why is everybody I'm getting true. freaking divorced then? If it's if they love the remember, person. Remember that fact. Remember, remember, my, remember, remember that fact that, that it's wrong. Last time I had that person on the show, I told that was that was wrong. Now everybody ain't getting divorced. Yeah, nah, mm, people oh, marry yeah. each other before nah, they know each other. Getting, that's why. Nah, exactly. Think. That's when you come in. You, yeah. call, like, you said you said all the right things in the beginning. And now you flip those scripts. When you meet a person, you get intimate mentally. You meet a person, you get intimate with her or him. Or him. You get to know that person, and in due time y'all gonna fall in love and y'all gonna get married. You don't go in. You don't go in. Somebody you get love, somebody get married off the top. No, you don't know that person. But in due time, y'all court. Know it, think you know everything about each other, you know what I mean? Spending time with each other, expressing y'all feelings, you know what I mean? Just talking, you know, you just live with that person, you tell that person everything, everything that's on your mind, you listen, and go 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 from there. That is love. Now, if a person if a person ain't getting married out of love, that's why the marriage ain't working. But or the proof there's sometimes people that get tired and grow old. And then some people just jump in the bed, bed too fast. But, yeah, can, exactly. So, so if, if you get married out of love, I think it'll last. It does not, I'm not a professional. I'm not a doctor feel nobody. But most people I've seen, my mom and friend that got married out of love, they still married. I mean, I got one I got one friend been married three times, four times. Dang. Yeah, he, he, he loves to get married. You know what? Now, when I think about it, man, I got like three of my friends, four of my friends that are <coughs> married now. Ain't none of us married. Cause the ones ain't dead, they ain't even married. Well, I'm saying, cool to myself. Cause, you, cause that's where the respect come in. That you, you, you grow, you groom each other. You get to know each other. You ain't rushing to nothing. You ain't speeding to nothing. And then everything gonna flow. And then you don't get married and so on. Love ain't got no. It, it's, it's your mental. It's how you. It's how you develop early. Some people develop early. Some people develop young. But if you find that person that you can grow old with, you know that's that person. Y'all will get married. It's out of love. If you marry, if you marry somebody for any other reason besides love and respect and and trust, it ain't gonna work. You gotta have those three factors. You gotta have trust. You gotta have respect. You gotta have love. If you ain't got those three factors and you talking about getting married, it's not gonna work. You can't have two out of three, one out of three. You gotta have three for three, and it'll work because no matter what, you got you 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 respect that person not to put put your relationship in the way. And she gonna respect you not to put your relationship in the way. She gonna trust you not to put your relationship in the way when you go somewhere. And you ain't gonna be, she ain't gonna be blowing your phone up. Talking about where you at? Uh, put put the camera phone on. Uh, if Shanita see you out somewhere, I'm not using now. I don't know Shanita for real, but if Shanita see you out, and we just in a group group talking, and she said, girl, you know, there's a girl in that group talking with them. She said, okay, because she respects you, she tr trusts you, and she loves you. She know you ain't gonna do nothing to do harm. That same thing go for you. So I'm saying, so if you ain't getting married out of those three factors, no, it ain't gonna work. Whatever love guru over here. <laughs> man, I just, not, I just know, I just know a little bit. I know a little bit. Oh man. I have my ups and downs. I know a little bit. Trust me. Love conquers all. That's what they say, right? Yeah. So love conquers all. Respect in a relationship is a must. Got to be. Mm -hmm. Both sides. <coughs> Let me read the disclaimer again. This is Conscious Community Connections, where we keep the community connected. We are talking about respect. And this is WRFU 104.5. This is an open forum for Banner Champagne in our online community. Views expressed are those of the speakers and are not intended to represent WRFU, UC, IMC, or Banner Socialist Forum. I do believe I need to read the this other little thing again. So I'm gonna read it again. Are you tired of paying high electric bills? Illinois has a new program called Illinois Solar for All. If you live in a low income household, you may be able to participate in this program and save on your electricity costs. Stop by Habitat for Humanity on September the 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. to learn about this exciting new program and enjoy a free barbecue dinner again. That's September the 12th at Habitat for Humanity, 119 East University Avenue, Champaign, from 6 to 8 p.m. 
Whether you own or rent, come learn how you might reduce your electricity costs with clean solar energy that is brought to you by Habitat for Humanity. So back to what we were talking about, and that was respect. Kiki, the guru, love guru over here, was saying that there's three factors you need in a marriage. That's love, respect, and trust. Okay? Hey, you do need that. Yeah. Because, well, you... you so, we gonna stay on respect. Okay. Respect is a little factor. We need okay. all that. So, when you go into a relationship, and I have a question, like, do you automatically respect the girl, or do you automatically have, like, you let her like earn it or something. Like, I, do you get what I'm asking? I want him to respect. respect like, yeah. Until yeah, she showed me something different. Yeah, you got. You got I can't, but if, I, if I can't respect a woman, I ain't gonna be no relationship with anyway. So you just now we can do other things. I did not tell her. I mean, what is it? If you're gonna come to us, so you got to respect it. If you walk, yeah, you respect it. If you if you, you know. call someone, it's all it's all. But then if you see something different, respect. yeah. If you see something different, you know, you might walk away. You know, but, but if it I, ain't worth it. If I see she ain't respecting herself, I'm not respect her. I'm gonna get out the way because she she detrimental to both of us. Or well, same thing with, with you. You should see if a man respect himself, you should got to way he detrimental to you too. If he don't love himself, he can't damn near love you. Yeah. Cause come respect, come love. Mm -hmm. All that's play a factor. And then so, a lot of people I realize they lifestyle too. If you live in a certain way, doing certain things, and you involve this woman in your life, that ain't no respect either. You know, you got to, you got, you got to live right. You know, if you're gonna be with a woman and you know she doing the right thing, she positive, she ain't trying to do nothing negative, <coughs> and here you is trying to be positive somewhat but still doing negative things. You know, you can, you know, that ain't that ain't respectful. But y'all, I mean, what? my sister, man, she rough right here. Talk, <laughs> your mind. I'm saying, cause that's the mature that y'all talking about. What? That's the mature stuff, or is that what it is? I mean, if if she gonna let you go, you gonna go? Like, shoot, go hey. On. I mean, I'm gonna keep going out. She ain't gonna say now. Nah, I'm gonna keep going out. Yeah, that's what we're But see, nine ten though. But see, nine ten. When you get in a relationship with a woman, and you start, if you you get feelings, you ain't gonna want to go out anyway. That's just you just still got that dog in his ways in you. Because yeah. going out, like you got to find like going out and not going. Not them story like like instant. Me and my guy, we we get together every night. We smoke cigars. We don't go out to clubs and stuff like that. We might might be guys smoke cigars and, and hang out. So, but if you if you if you get with a woman every night, you going to the club and and she going to the club, ain't no respect there because y'all she want to spend as much time with each other as possible. So that's still the immaturity in you. But now if you y'all together now, you gonna respect her to slow down because you chose her to be your lifestyle. You want her to follow your lead. That's all it is about following each other's lead now. If you're in a committed relationship, you ain't gonna want to go out every night for now out your woman. That just point blank. Same thing over the woman. No matter how many times a friend wants you to go out there have drinks on, you go out there drink, you can drink at home. And it's cheaper, save you a lot more money. Just like I said, I think it's mature. You know? Yeah, that's so, all it is. You know, certain age in life where you can enjoy yourself without going out. And you come <laughs> to that point where you can just feel comfortable by going out mm -hmm. with your mm -hmm. Family, you know, yeah. just simple stuff, you know. Right, you know, right. You get to home playing board and, games and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, watching yeah. TV, you know. I guess that's a sign you're getting older, you know. Right. They can tell you what it is. Like my friends, they still going out every weekend, going to a place called, they be doing uh, uh, happy hours and stuff and all that. You know, yeah, come yeah. on, man. You know, okay. I don't knock nobody from doing it. That's, what, that's that, what you want to do. It, that's it, cool. But, but yeah. But sometimes you, you might, you got couples that like to go out together. Yeah, what I'm saying. That's though. cool. You but, got people mm -hmm. that, like I got a friend, him and a lady, they always going out. They always have these car parties. You know, that's just something that they, they both like. But if, but if you're a group, it's like, yeah, if, if, know, if, you got, I, if you got a, a tradition you've been doing, don't stop your tradition. Yeah. 
You don't change up on your friend because you're getting a committed relationship. You keep your same 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 schedule. You know you ain't doing nothing. If you go out in the club every night, man, getting drunk and hang out with the guys, <laughs> you looking for something, point blank. You hey, wildin'. Yeah, yeah that's, you that's look, the same thing with a woman. You look for little mama. If you got to go out every night and get drunk and hang out with your girls and go to the club, man, you looking for something. Something at home ain't right. That's probably the respect factor. She going her way, you going your way. Because that liquor, man, that liquor, man, I don't care how much you think you, control, you can't control that liquor, no, man. Okay, man. Can't control, you can't control, that's all. I mean, no, nah, you can't just say that. You can't. If you just depends on, man, you if you over drinking. Exactly. You a couple drinks what I'm talking about. chill out. What I'm talking about. How many people that actually have a couple of drinks and chill out, though, in the club? I mean. You got very small amount. I ain't telling anybody, but you got very small amount. Can you go out there and go in the club and just have a couple of drinks and chill out? I mean, yeah, I can. <laughs> now, I, mean, I don't drink no more. Have you ever did it before? Have you? It's, that's yes, no answer. Don't cry, uh, shit goes. Have you ever back in your days of wilding? Have you ever just went to the club and had a couple of drinks and chilled out? Uh, no, never, no. That's what I'm trying to say. No. You gonna get that look in? You gonna act a fool? Try to pull you something? Oh, for sure. Bump something? Yeah. It's just human nature. And got a woman at home. Exactly. That's crazy. So why are you going out? So your whole purpose is to go out to try and find something different. Yeah. Well, you just be like you just see somebody in that moment, you know? Exactly. <laughs> be like wifey at home. The kids and here you is. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong though. I be seeing some brothers that's like got a side piece, got cribs and everything. Wife so nice. I'm like, man, what is you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but see, all they know. That's what I think that's shots why. fired, huh? Yeah, you know. That's why you see some of them guys get married early. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And they be successful and everything. This thing, you know, they about getting my age and they be like, man, where you going? And I've been with her for 30 years, 25 years. I'll be like, wow. I've I seen a couple of I'm like, like, man, bro, I'm like, is you for like real? That. He looking at me like, like I'm tripping for saying something to him. Why you say something to him? Because I, I just can't believe, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, this maturity level, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you are used to that. You were, because you weren't on that, you weren't, y'all weren't on the same, y'all was on different levels. Yeah, we was on different levels. Like, we switch, you know yeah. what I'm saying? When you just tell me, damn, you need to find you a good woman to settle down somewhere and this and that. And I'm like, yeah, right. So what, did he marry too early or something? I think he married too early. Why? Because he's doing the things that a man would do in their 20s. In their 20s. You know what I'm saying? But they still He got married. They went to school. They, but somebody, they had, somebody they had the perfect on, Somebody life. be going home at home, though. They had a perfect life. Sometimes Somebody be going home at home. You know, so I was like. Wow. He might have called her doing something. I can't do nothing but pray for you, huh? He might have called her doing something. I don't know. <laughs> Never know. Some respect was lost. Yeah, respect was exactly. nowhere for you to be doing that. Mm hmm. You know? So if some respect is lost in a relationship, it's time to move on. Right? Or do yeah. you stay and try to work it out? Some people, I mean, it, if it's worth the fight, it depends. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes people make mistakes. I've seen people that. Did stuff and you know me and that relationship, you know, and, and it's you know it's still holding on. You know, and sometimes you just gotta separate when the respect is lost. You know, mm -hmm. you know, just like some women when they lose that respect for you, when they get fed it up, they're gone. Yeah, it don't take and you me be long. Like, no, baby, you be like she like I'm gone. You know? mm, I just cussed. It don't take me long at all. It's time to go. You know, I'm moving fast anyway. You ain't giving brother no chance. No. Man. <laughs> say it's over with. Man, you. Mm -mm. I ain't even gonna say nothing. You know? Not at all. I'm gonna keep it cool. Keep it cool. What else? Let's go. Respect. Mm -hmm. Respect. Well, you gotta first respect yourself, like we yeah, said. Yeah, you don't respect you yourself, respect man. Yourself. If you don't respect yourself, anybody don't respect you anyway. I mean,. Respecting yourself, you gotta love yourself, take care of yourself. Don't get in a relationship and just, man. Don't get in a relationship and you don't wanna be there. Don't get in a relationship and just <coughs> let yourself go, though. Some women get in a relationship yeah, and see, they let themselves yeah, go. They see. like looking like a bomb and yeah, everything else. You like, yeah. dang, baby, what happened? Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's a lot of things that happen, too. People get in a relationship and they let themselves go. You know, they get in there and they just, you know, that's why I was Eating like. Eating too much, yeah, not going big. out, you know, and, and that's, working that's how, out, yeah. you feel me? Yeah. 
not doing what they normally would do before that person came. You know, they yeah. they routine and change, and Forget it's all about that done, person. Wearing wigs every day. You know, <laughs> there you go with that wig. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but see, it's like now the respect factor for for a lot of women is gone. Mm. Because because a lot of women dress like sluts. For real. Excuse uh, my, excuse I my don't. No, I said a lot of them do now. Yeah. For real. You go out dressing like, like this and that. A man not going to respect you anyway. If you got to go out there half naked. But wonder if I never been half naked. But if you got to go out there half naked every night. <laughs> if you got to go out there half naked every night. Got your belongings out. A man ain't going to respect you because they see anything. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing to the imagination. It ain't nothing. No, you just... You just... Label. Easy? Yeah, they you label. Are you but easy? You I know some women that not, dress like you that. You might not be easy. You that might dress not. like that, but wasn't easy. You know. But you know what I'm saying she might not be easy. But what well, you yeah, gonna go. think? You think what you gonna think? Man, average man, hustle. average, yeah. average man, she gonna go. average man. We see a woman dress half naked, like like just with the, all that all. We like, oh, is she going? Yeah, for sure. And the only thing you gonna want from is, is sex. You what know? is half naked? Cause I do. You know what half naked is. Come on, we ain't gonna play crazy in here. Dressing like a hoochie mama. Got your, bo- got your boobs all out. Got the little, 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 little but that's what you drawing. So you can't get mad when somebody get talking crazy to you. I don't, I, I don't understand how women get mad and be dressed and they come out, nah, respect me. You ain't respecting yourself. You ain't got to dress like that. So the, the standards are so the standards are set so wrong now for women yeah. respect level. Yeah. They, they think they, they nah, I, I, uh, what they call it, expression myself or yeah. a proud of my, no, nah, no, nah, they ain't that. You can, wear, you can wear some nice yoga pants, nice shirt, okay, boom. When you, I'm serious. But when you got that, got them shorts on and whatever, them see-through stuff on, got all your stuff hanging out, your nipples and stuff and all that, come on, man, who gonna respect you? I know I ain't. I ain't gonna make you my woman. You, if my woman come out like that, I'm looking like she, I can't stand my daughter with that stuff. Well, I went out long, a while back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I stepped out. I had a see-through dress on. But how often do you do that, though? No, no. You know what I'm see-through. Saying? Yeah, what? See, How many you do that? Stuff changes when you. I got see a thousand your, phone calls that night too. You see your daughter. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I, I, started, I, started go, I started go kicking her butt. You, you know were supposed saying? to be there with me. I, I, like, I, I love man, enjoy, I love enjoy herself that night. You know, that's when it, that's when it changes. When you see your daughter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because some stuff my daughter be man. And then you be like. But it been changed like that before. I don't like it. Been like that for me. I saw back in the day when I saw one of them little skirts and all this and that. My mind, I ain't, I ain't just gonna try to knock her off. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? So, it, but now, as you like, you said the maturity come in at, and but no, nah, I was mature. They got, I wasn't gonna wife her. If she come out there half naked, she ain't respecting herself. You ain't gonna wife nobody anyway at that time. <laughs> How you doing, know Thank man? you. Thank be your little you. spot, you know. You know, you always try Thank to have you. brothers back in the day. They want to have their main piece. They want to have that little, the little wild one. The little ghetto mama, you know what I'm saying? You want all different types of women. <laughs> well, yeah, but you, know, you go, want the little college girl all somewhere secluded. Yeah, it go, it go like that though, man. You got, That's a lot. You got, you got to respect. You got to respect yourself, man. I yes. All yes. that plays a factor. How you yes. dress, how you carry yourself, mm-hmm. and don't let yourself go. You feel me? Don't yeah. let yourself. You got that drunk. You mean like you know? women like get to having babies. No, you? no. I mean, when you get into a relationship, like you have that set. Routine. Hey, I get up, I do my little yoga, and then I go work out later. And once you get into this relationship, you like, dang, babe, what what happened to your mindfulness and yoga and exercising? She got what she, she wanted no more. You know, she ain't become she ain't attracted so to the man no more. She start gaining weight and certain yeah. things. You know, that's letting go of yourself. Men, yeah. they kind of do the same thing. So it's it's both this. You know, it it goes both ways. But you know, don't let yourself go. And respect yourself, love yourself, keep yourself looking good, smelling good, you know, and be attractive to that person. But don't you don't have to settle, you know. Mm-hmm. And we ain't talking about settling. Um, if your standards change, it shouldn't be no problem, you know. Um, you mean settling? Like- don't settle for the person to just. 
be like, hey, I'm going to be okay with this person to come in and out of my life when he want to. And he got different females. And yeah. I know he got different females. And I know I can do better. That's settled. Yeah. You know? I know I can do better. I can get any man I want to. It don't even matter. I know that. But why would I settle for this person that keep trying to run in and out of my life? I'm not going. <laughs> what? You pin the wool down on her. And she confused. See, that's what I'm saying. All of that, you need to be intimate with that person and not try to, you know, that 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 D ain't gonna work. It ain't working. D ain't paying them bills right. Nah, it ain't working. I'm on the detox, remember? <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> Man, respect going it ain't working. Way, man. Try to love yes. respect yourself. Yes, please do. Please do. And make sure you understand that you're more than enough, though. You know, and remind yourself. And I'm talking to the women, though, because we do accept a lot of different things. That That is um, something that shouldn't go on, but we do. Don't let people play games with your mind and your heart. We almost done with y'all. Mm-hmm. We almost done. Anything else y'all want to say? Respect today. We talked about respect today. Respect yourself and each other. You know? Yeah. Yeah, you got to respect people's lifestyles too. You know, like you say, far as people, like you say, you a people person. I am. I know where you to know. draw the line. You know, I'm. I can. I do what I want because I ain't married. You feel me? But you, oh, so you only got to be married. You only got to be married. Respect somebody. No, no, no. But you know, if no, we, no, we no. friends, hey, hey, if we friends, see how she's all jumping up. We, 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 I, I'm sorry, but she if we friends, rubber. we just friends. I can do what I want to. You feel me? Mm-hmm. We dating, it'd be a different story. But if we married, like all that is just like somebody respect you. Respect yourself first, man. It goes a long way. Love, love yourself. Okay. Sure. If you sell a, if you if you sell a, <laughs> oh, yeah. up, Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hey, but, look um, now. <laughs> I mean, go out there, man. You know, it's it's my there for everybody, man. Yes. Go in there, go yes. in there, open mind. Is it okay to date a couple of people at a time? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to school them or I'm just saying date. like. Because they said it the other day, and it was like a yourself. long time. It's been a long time, but at, that's how they don't be knowing who their baby daddy is, right? <laughs> no, during <laughs> shut the heck up. Sorry. So during um one of the episodes of uh, Breakfast Club, they were like, you know, you can date a couple of people at a time. It's, ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? I mean, what? Yeah, so wrong with that? I mean, ain't yeah. nothing wrong with dating. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. You're single, you just like. Yeah. Are you in a person. committed relationship? No. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with dating couple. You can you you feeling? Oh, you trying to find you trying to find you trying to find your, your statement what they but call it. That could be dangerous too. Yeah, because you get you because know. the ones that you dating, they can be you know catching feelings, catching feelings, and if you just going that through enjoying life, on date. you know you know a brother you know a brother take take him out to get a sandwich, you think. Spend money, then you ride by and see you at the same restaurant with somebody else. I bought you a sandwich. <laughs> he go by, he said, go to the restaurant. Yeah. He mad. <laughs> you know. I'm, I'm sorry, I am guilty for certain things, but you know. But you know, you a woman. If you want to somebody ask you to go out for dinner. She thought she that detox, but she going on a date. You know, for the dinner. <laughs> you know. Some women just will go on a date just to eat. Shut up. But she, she detox. I though. am. What are you talking about? Oh, that's what you're doing? What? Yeah, I've been detoxing. You eat, it's going you? on three three months. Oh, you're talking about the food she's stuff she you're detoxing doing. everything. I'm detoxing everything. everything. What are you talking Lace about? Man, was well, she going on uh, several days, though? Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? I didn't confirm that I'm going on several <laughs> yeah, days. But yeah, though, listen. Oh, my. This is, I'm not a professional, but my thing, my thing is to... The key factor to a healthy relationship when finding your wife is love, trust, and respect. 
if you got those three for your significant other, they're going to last for a long time, man. And you ain't got too much to worry about, man. And just be honest with yourself. If you know you ain't one willing to be committed with that person, or you play with that first person film. We get too, we get too old, and a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, people ain't taking no more, man. And you know, a lot of people really got mental problems. So you must not get that wrong. Yeah, mental bring, illness. You bring that, bi bring that bipolar out that yeah. person. So you know, that's what it's all about, man. You really you know? get to know somebody yeah. before you completely bring them in your life. Especially when you got kids and stuff like that, you know, you got a lot of family around, you know, you just can't yeah. just, you know. They go with respecting yourself. Yeah, respecting yourself. You got to really find your out family. what that person is yeah. before you just bring completely into your life. They bring completely strength around your kids and all this and that. Mm -hmm. You got to know that person. Google them. You know, you know what I mean? It takes time. Look at his Facebook page. You can tell a lot about a person on their Facebook page, can't you? I don't know. I don't do the Facebook. Me neither. I'm going to ask you. I don't know. I just, I think you just gotta take time to know people, you know. Get over here. Yeah, go. I'm gonna finish up. You just gotta take time, man. It's all about getting intimate, man. Talking, talking and learning respect. But the main thing, you gotta respect yourself, man. It's all about self respect. If you don't respect yourself, nobody else is gonna respect you, man. Then you gotta love thyself and know thyself. Them the key factors in respect, man. So if you can get get by that, you can go a long way. But just don't settle for less. If, if the person ain't on the same thing you on, you know, don't don't just settle. You know your worth. And like I said, you know, it all start start by your looks and your appearance and your attitude. So we out here, you know, we got a nice show. Me, Damon, and Heather. Heather had to take a break. Damon came in, dropped some good keys about his whole his whole relationship. <laughs> And all that, you know, yeah. Heather has some good points. I think it was a decent show, and uh, yeah. thanks for the listeners tonight. Everybody enjoy their weekend. Fall is getting here. Yes. So it's time to start to dress warm. And, yeah. You know, it's going to be a bad winter out yeah. there. It's going to be a cold winter. Going to find that relationship to get in that relationship. Yeah, winter time <laughs> comes somebody to snuggle up with. They try to get that winter time relationship. You know, trying to get committed now. Nah, they wife finna give me the lake shit. Nuggets finna get cold. Y'all said something crazy. <laughs> something uh, yeah, snuggle, snuggle up to. Yeah. They wife finna you know looking for that lake shit. Ain't nothing like something warm to hold they on to at night. Everybody settle down now, my baby. <laughs> <laughs> what? My boo. It's cuffing season. Yeah, it's oh, cuffing season. Oh, man. It's one time. It's one time, my boo. You feel my boo. Not me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cuffing season. 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 Yeah, it's yeah. Not me, I'm good. They've been there hugging their kids at night. Mom, yeah. why are you squeezing me so tight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but yeah, but, yeah. yeah. That's all right. I ain't yeah. got no headaches. Wow. Court, no headaches. man. Learn, learn how to court and date again, man. It's really going to bring back court and date relationship, talking, man. Talk on the phone and take her out, walk in the park with her, take her to the movies. And just go out and drink some coffee. And if you know you ain't going to mean no good to a woman, man, be be real with yourself. And, 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 and let, her go. Go, let her go. You that's know easy saying? said now. Huh? Especially if you Did know you what type of... You think like that I'm just saying, especially if you know what type of woman this is. If you know that she want to be in a relationship, you know what I'm saying? She's good people. She a sweet woman. And if you know you just finna drag... I know it's hard for a man to do that, but as you get older, you know, that stuff come back on you. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't be I like agree this. with you, but you know I agree with you, but that's hard to you know what they gonna call that name? Yeah. Well hate it. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> but yeah, for real, man. You know, it's time for us to start stepping up, man. We know we don't mean that woman no good, leave her alone, man. Yeah, man. Especially you got ourselves together. Mm. We bring too many good women down and too many good men down for fooling us. So, you know, if you ain't got your mind on the right track, don't even waste nobody's time. And another thing you know, is it's a it's a fool out there for you. It's somebody right. for everybody, man. You know what I mean, that's leave that good person alone and go out there and do your thing. And then when you're ready, go back and get that good person. Man. If she there, if she there, if she that's my like damn, gonna get it because you know he got he on the right track. No, <laughs> oh, man, damn, you, man. Damn, you on the right track. I'm just saying. Why are you always talking about Damon in the right track? <laughs> Cause you always preaching to me. That's what. <laughs> he don't like. He don't like. Well, we gotta oh go God. though. Y'all be safe out there on this weekend, man. Peace, love, and happiness. For sure.